Hello. I am going to do a swirl. Like I'm going to put a base coat down. I'm going to do a swirl in the middle of the canvas. And then I am going to do a reverse dip over it. I've got white here. Um, I've also got, <clears throat> I'll show you before I start doing all these things. Metallic green, um, dioxin purple, reflex rose, and quadacrium magenta. Oh, and I also have cadmium yellow. All these colors here, plus the white, I have mixed with um, flow troll and water. And it's about <clears throat> one part paint to about a quarter part flow troll. The yellow. I mixed with um, pouring meat, a Liquitex pouring medium, and water. And I'm just going to show you the consistency that it has to be for doing the reverse dip. So I'm going to put the white white base on for you. Okay, so I am going to pour the colors in this cup, pinch it, swirl. Okay, so pink first. I'm not really sure how much paint to use. Oops. I want it to come out to maybe about here, so... Not half, for sure not half, maybe a quarter. Okay. Pink is first. And I'm going to put all of it in. There's not a whole lot in here, so... Then the red, magenta. Mm, hope I put enough in. No. All right, that should be good. And then purple. Not going to put as much purple. It's already at about almost a quarter of the cup. Okay, so I'm going to turn it like this and I am going to pinch the cup. Start swirling. I'm just going to move it a little bit. Just going to let it spread out a bit. Let it sit for a minute. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is from the middle I'm going to uh, go outward with the stick.
I'm also going to go in on in between them. Going to use my green to put some leaves on the edges. Now I'm going to put some yellow in the middle. Just going to add a little bit more white in between. Okay, ready now? I'm going to just lift up first two corners, next two corners. Try to gather it up a little bit and then just slowly lift up. I like it. I think I like it. Wasn't quite sure at first, but I really like it now. Since I moved it around a little bit, it's it really pretty. Especially this part right in here. Yeah, I like it. I really like it. It's pretty. It took a lot of the, the pink and magenta paint off, but I still like it. I moved it around and it looks much better. Hey there. Today I'm going to do, um, I'm calling it a chain pull. It's like a string pull, but um, using chain instead of string. And this is the chain I'm going to be using today. Okay. Um, I've already prepared my canvas. I um, gessoed it. And I put a layer of black paint just mixed with a little bit of water. Um, and let it dry. I just wanted to make sure that um, when I do my uh, pour and everything or my painting 
that um, no canvas shows through. So that's why I'm now starting to paint, paint the paint the canvas with the with whatever I wanted to use on the back. Um, and yeah, so that, and I let it dry. So um, what I'm doing is I'm going to put um, black on the background, and I have bronze, and I'm just going to streak bronze throughout the black just in small areas um, and then spread it with uh, with this I put and then I'm gonna put white flowers on the top with the chain so I um, I use uh, mix flow troll with my uh, paint and uh, my recipe as always will be in the description below the video and I'll have a list of the colors, like what brand I use. And then at the end of the video, I will, um, you'll be able to see the dried results. I, w I wait till it's dried and then I film it and then I post it. So I'm going to start spreading the black on. I'm not going to put too much on. You need it a little bit thinner when you're doing the string pour pours or the ch especially the chain okay so I spread the black on <clears throat> now I'm going to add some bronze um, what I'm going to do I'm not going to dip that in there I'm just going to maybe in certain spots I'm just going to Maybe drizzle a little bit. So now I'm going to get the chain, dip it in the white. Actually, I need that in there. You can see this good. So dip it right in there. It really, you wouldn't think so, but this, the chain really holds the paint. So, as well as scraping it with a knife when it came out, I'm going to rub it with my fingers. And actually, I rubbed it twice. Here it goes. Okay, and I pull. I have a little bucket of water beside me here, but I can rinse it off real quick. So I can reuse it. It's hot water and just a little bit of soap. And dry it off.
Okay, so here's the close-up of, of it. All right, so that's it for today. Um, I will um, let it dry and you'll be able to see the results at the end of this video, okay? Hello, I'm back. Um, well, this is dried. It's only taken overnight to dry. This is the next day. Dried smooth. I want to show you uh, from far away. I guess I can just do this. And then from a close up. So it's pretty much stayed the same, same as it was yesterday. It hasn't changed at all. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.